All right, this is John Gill. This, I better keep it. Um, I just realized I, I, that I had better keep a, do, an, uh, a document of this. I'll just, I'll just record this, and I'll just slap it on my audio diary channel as a personal. Well, I might have to do something more just to show. To show, I, I don't, not really. I'll just document it. I already got. I already have the screenshot posted on my Facebook group and website. But if you don't believe me that the screenshot came from Angela Dutton or or, or also known as Angela Scarborough. Well, believe it because, you know, that's the, well, she, she never blocked me from this account, so. Um, that's her account. Well, you can pretty much confirm that's her account, so, I mean, I'm waiting for the signal there. Um, okay, do I need to show that much? <laughs> do, I, do I really need to show that much anyway? Um, okay. Come on. Okay, anyway, um, go in here to see about or whatever. No, just, it doesn't matter. You can see that's her account. Okay. You can see that's her account. You can see that came from her account, I think. I think that should be enough to verify that that's not anything I made up, okay? And you can see... You know, I'm flipping through our, our messages. You know, she started messaging the hell out of me back in 2021, about a month before Johnny McDonald did. And that was the message that she forwarded me that she, she says came from Susan Matthews. And, I mean, it's it's got her name on it with her email address. I mean, I, I, mean, I guess somebody could have typed that up somewhere else, I guess. I don't know. But, well, bottom line, they all... All four of the fe or all three of the females have the same thing in common, though, just like this. So it, that's why I kind of think she is probably um, um, part of this. You know, part of you know. That's why I'm pretty sure she's involved as well with those other two females that are working undercover, as well as Johnny McDonald. And see all all these messages. You know, this all started about a month before Johnny McDonald. And I message her back a lot because, well, I mean, she kept messaging me first. I thought she, I thought she was for real at first. Oh. Yeah, it just, and I've noticed some other uh, fake accounts sending me weird, me similar messages, like similar to what she sends. I, I thought, I mean, I just didn't say anything. I thought something was weird about her. I thought, you know, I didn't want to say anything. You know, I didn't want to like, like, I didn't want to like sound say anything on you know on online you know on video to badmouth anybody. That's why I didn't say anything about her a while ago. But she would always act kind of like crazy like this, and it, it would. I didn't want to say anything, so I I just kind of went along with it. And I you know and I know you know there's a lot of victims of that sheriff, so I I just assumed she was just another one of them. But no, it was just an attempt to add misinformation, I think, into the mix. I mean, is there any truth to what she was saying at all? I wonder. I don't know. I don't think so. I, I kind of start. I'm kind of starting to doubt a lot of it. I think there might be some truth mixed in there, though. To be honest. But yeah, I just um, I showed the screenshot from Matthews. But yeah, this proves what I was saying. You know, this came from her. This came from her account. Because I have that. Just I just thought I wanted to. I just wanted to document that. Because, oops. Um. Let me go back to that. I lost it. I had to go back and search for it. I just wanted to document that because I have the screenshot posted, you know, that, that, that she says came from Susan Matthews. I have that posted on my website and Facebook group, but I better just document a little further just to, you know, to verify that, yes, that, that did come from Angela Dutton or Angela Scarborough. I didn't make that up, Okay. And honestly, if you look at that message, is that well, it does look like. I wish I could see more on the screenshot as far as far as where it originated from, too. You know that. I can only take it at face value that it came from from Susan Matthews. It looks like I mean she forwarded a message, so it looks like it did. She forwarded it, 
it looks like it actually did. It just sometimes, you know, something it probably did because sometimes when you forward, it'll look like that sometimes when you forward um private messages to each other through, from another from another private messenger. If she wanted to, she should have took you know. She, okay, so that wasn't even. I think I incorrectly stated on video that that was a screenshot. She sent me a no. Actually, um, a screenshot would have been better because that way I could have verified for sure that that came from Susan Matthews. But she, what she did was she forwarded the message. It says Angela forwarded a message. So I can only take that at face value. But I'm assuming that that probably is real. It actually did come from Susan Matthews. I remember, you know, in just in just like um Sarah Christine Pitkin, she had a recording, a voice recording of Susan Matthews. Um standing on the side of the highway somewhere where there was a lot of white noise and traffic in the background and you could barely hear her talking but I did it hand I, I have to go back one of these days and still see, and see if I still have that original recording from 2020 when she sent it to me but uh, I, I'm I, I just I just remember her sending it to me now and then you know, of course the other female there, there was those stage recorded phone calls with Wayne Coates and Captain Grady I've covered it before but but yeah, I just wanted to document this just because, just because um, that sc this screenshot that I have posted, I just want to you know verify that yes, it did come from her. I am not making this up. Should I post this video on my? I'm gonna put it on my audio diary. Maybe I should put it up somewhere else just to make sure people see that. Hey, I'm not no post available. Huh? What's up with that? That's weird. Does she, you know, I've seen weird, sometimes, I wonder if that accounts, if her, if she, maybe this account isn't active anymore. I don't know, because when it does that, that's usually what it means. When, when that's usually, I, well, I've seen that once before somewhere, when, when somebody, oh yeah, somebody sent me, it was the Longmans one time, they sent me a link to some Facebook page. It looked like it actually did originally belong to the sheriff's office, because of some of the pictures they had posted. Because some of the pictures they had posted actually did look like they came from within the Harnett County Sheriff's Office, I remember. They sent me the link, and they, they, they were, for some reason, they wanted me to go through it. And I did, because I, I was curious to see what was on there, too. And, well, at, when they first sent me the link, I clicked on it, and I couldn't open it. Well, I, I, well, I could open it. On, it. When I opened it up, I had trouble opening it up on the, on the, app, the Facebook application, is what I mean. When I, when I opened it up, all I could see was the cover page. It was something called Harnett County Sheriff's Department. Okay, something different. And then I couldn't see the whole page. All I could see was the cover page. But then when I logged into Facebook through the browser on the internet, then suddenly I, I, could, I, I looked it up and then I could see the whole page. And it looked like somebody had hacked it. I was scrolling through it and I remember replying to the Longmans telling them, it looks like somebody did hack it and it was not me. I remember going through there and noticing some, and I even found one of the videos I needed too, because somebody had posted it on that Facebook page. It was that video of that, I think it was Deputy Bird or whoever it was that that deputy in 2018 who body slammed that that teenage girl on the ground. I, I needed the original video, and that's actually that's actually where I found it. Was somebody had posted that link? In, it was in all the Facebook. There was a bunch of different Facebook pages I saw in there that were doing it. That were posting. Um, different information like deadly force stuff and other things I don't remember I have to go back to it and look at it you know what should I look that up real quick while I'm recording or I, I have the screenshot still from from I, that um between me and the longmans about that I told them yeah I didn't do that well I don't know how to hack stuff like that somebody it looked like somebody did because it looked like it looked like they were posting stuff that Wayne Coates definitely would have deleted. And let me let me look that let me look that up real quick. Harna County Sheriff Department. It's it was called department, not office. I noticed that's one thing I noticed that was out of place. Okay, did I find it? Harnett County Sheriff's Department. I think so. I may have found it. Now, now it says content not available. Or who's your, that's Powell. That's something different. That's that's like the, the thing where they, 
they do something for the kids or whatever. Um, where they go do they go teach them how to fight and how to box. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what? I think I did find it. Now, of course, that one, Keep Wayne Coach Sheriff, but this is the one. I think this was the one. And when I click on it now, now it says, okay, now it's, it looks like it is gone. Okay, but I remember before that, before it disappeared, I remember the logman sent me the link for it, and I have to, I have to go back and look through that private message as well and find that link they sent me. Maybe I can. I don't want to. I don't want to make this recording too long here. I'm. I'm trying to. But I'm just remembering that other thing issue. That other issue too. There's been some other. You know, even the Longmans have. There's been some weird things. You know, with dealing with Facebook as well. Just kind of some things that are getting my attention as well. I just have a suspicion maybe Wayne Coates promised them something a bit to help those other four individuals maybe get me or something. Something to that effect. I have no idea. I'm just speculating. But there's just some weird things I've seen. And it's not just paranoia either. Here, I'm going to scroll. I'm scrolling back on our this private message between me and the Longmans to see if I can find that link they sent me while I'm talking about it. Is this the one here? Yep, here it is. She sent it to me, and she told me to screenshot as much as you can. I am doing the same. So why do you want me to do it? I th I wonder if they were trying to maybe make the case that I hacked this page, because it looked like somebody hacked it. it when, I, when I went over it, and I told them, and I was sending them screenshots. I started sending back screenshots, I think. And that's why I'm trying to scroll down through here to see if, what's this? That's something. Did she delete a bunch of messages? Wait, wait, where did the other messages go? Um, there were some other messages as well. It might have been on, oh, you know what? I think the other messages were probably on her other account. This this one, not other account, this is the same account. But th what this is, this is a, a dual chat between her and her husband. I think the original message might have been on a different chat between me and her only. Okay, because she, but she, th yeah, she originally sent it to me here. And then I think we were messaging each other. Okay, I wonder, that's weird. I'll have to go back and look. But I think the replies, were, I, I kept sending replies, and I think that might have been on her personal um, private message. But see, this is the one she sent me. She told me, but I, I don't know how to do the, Okay, so it is still there. Okay. Okay, now it's different. This is different. This is something different. Oh, no, that's not the one. That's not the one. Never mind. That's not the same one. She did tell me to screenshot as much as I can, too, on the other one. Um, no, I'm, I'm trying to find that, fa that Harnett County Sheriff's Department Facebook page link she sent me. It was way before that. It was before that. I, I don't. I don't remember when it was. I'm, all right, briefly, I wasn't. Even, that's not even really what I was documenting. I was actually documenting that message from Angela Scarborough. But maybe document some of these messages between me and the Longmans as well, just because uh, there's some, just some fishy stuff going on out there, and I just want to keep a record of it. Is this the one here? She, no, Holly Consulting. What's that? What was that thing she sent me about Holly Consulting? I don't remember that. I don't even remember. I might not have. It didn't look like I really replied. I don't really think I really replied to her about that one because I didn't know what what the, I didn't understand what the reference was to the to, to the issue at hand. To, which is another weird, you know, something weird I've noticed with these, th some of these people on Facebook. Well, well, particularly with those other four. I just think, um, I suspect maybe, I, I wonder if Elizabeth had, I think she had some knowledge. I'm not saying she was involved with them, but <laughs> there, she, I think she had some knowledge 
of them. And then I just thought it was weird, you know, yesterday when uh, Angela Scarborough got arrested, kicking and screaming and making a big scene. And then Elizabeth happened to be there to record her. What was that about? What was that all about? That's just weird. I'm wondering. I, I, I'm just. It looks like that's probably just. A, was that staged? He was. A, she looked like she said. I think the charge. I looked it up. I think it said misdemeanor stalking or something. What? Because she showed up at a campaign rally. I mean, that's open to the public. How is that stalking? I mean, I think honest, honestly, I think it's a staged arrest any, in the first place. To just to, to just to try to get hold on to her cover story so they can maybe use her for something else or something. Who knows? Who the hell knows? But yeah, I just I I just don't think it's a coincidence that what's this one? Hey, oh, it's from her son. Okay, before that one, even way before that. Yeah, I didn't want to do another one of these diaries, but I just realized, oh yeah, one more thing, one more thing I forgot to do, and, and my big, and I sh did I do that on the big, damn, I should have did that on the two hour video, I think I, no I did, I at least, no I think I did, I did, but briefly, I just held my phone in front of the camera, well on the, well I had the computer screen up, but I, just, I yeah I remember I briefly held, I'll, I'm going to go back and check that video, that two hour long video, but I think I did. I yeah, I did. I held my phone in front of the camera, and I on my on my Facebook private messenger, and I actually showed. I did show where the original screenshot came from. Yeah. I think I did that. I'm gonna go back in there and check and just make sure. Because that way, you know, because if you just look at that one little screenshot alone, I, I guess you could say, well, that came could have come from anywhere. You know what I mean? But if you watch that whole video though, you well. Or even, the, damn, should I? I don't know, maybe I'll show that. Okay, anyway, Justice... Oh, yeah, there's something called Ju uh, Justice for John Livingston Facebook thing she sent me. I mean, she sent me that one. Um, oh, yeah, okay, here's the messages I sent her back. I found it. Okay, I found these these Facebook accounts were the ones that were posting on that old... Fa um, those were the ones that I found that were had been posting on that old Facebook um, page that looked like it might have been hacked that used to be, it was called Harnett County Sheriff's Department. That's some of the stuff I was sending her back. I was sending her back screenshots of the accounts that I saw posting all the links. And that was one of them as well. I found this at page at the end. At the end of that the, the one I was referring to the Harnett County Sheriff's Department. And I found that. Aha. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. It's a good thing I'm documenting this but I'm still going to make sure I did show that in my last video about the, the Angela Scarborough message, just so people know I'm not making that up. You know what I mean? When because if you go to, I have it posted on my Facebook group and my website. Well, I also have the video posted there. I mean, I just want to make sure people can see that I'm not making that up. So and this proves it right here. Because, well, here's more. That's there was something else I found. Okay, there's the original link. I sent it back to her, I guess, because I tried. She sent it to me first, but it was the broken link, and I, I think I went and I found it. Oh, that was the thing she sent me, where supposedly there were some people doing Nazi salutes. That's okay. Is that that's the one she sent me right there? But I wouldn't open. She said it was okay. I don't think that one even belonged to them. No, that didn't even belong to the sheriff's office. That was something else. That was something that somebody was trying to do something similar to what I'm doing, but just didn't know what the hell they were doing. It, okay, even worse than I did in the first place when I first started, but I sure did get good at it. I actually, I was, I just wasn't too horrible at it to begin with. I, I did okay. I, I, there was some just making the videos was a challenge, but I, yeah. But anyway, that and then I found the and then I think what happened was. You said it contains neo-Nazi symbols. I'm trying to find them. Might be another link. Okay, because I, I remember she sent me that, and then did she send me the original? Did she send me the original? Um, 
Or did I find it? Okay, I think because she told me it was called the Harnett County Sheriff's Department. And that one said Harnett County Sheriff's Office. But I don't think that was that actually originated from them. That was something else. This was something different. And there, but there's a lot of um, issues with white supremacists in that in that um, sheriff's office. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But this was might have been a little bit of misinformation, I think. But and then I went through that Facebook page and and I, okay, there's the actual one right there. See now it says content not available. Okay, so let's see what happens. Like before, when she originally sent it to me, I'm going to copy the link. Copy the, or, or just copy the post. And, no, copy it. I want to, okay, more. Copy. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to try to go to my Facebook page here, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to paste that link. Okay, I just tried to paste that link in there. Let's just try searching for it. Okay, see, that it still shows up like it's there. Okay, so it is there still. Yeah, see? Okay, just like I said before, same deal. When I go to, to it on the application, I can only, this is all I can see. It looked like something happened to it. It, I think it got hacked because when I was going through it, I was sending Elizabeth all these screenshots back of all the different Facebook pages like this guy and some others like this guy. They didn't look like real people, okay? I think they were fake accounts. But they were posting links to like different things about, I think, Deadly Force and other stuff on their Facebook page, including stuff about John Livingston. And whoever was doing this, I was not me. I wonder if that's why they, she started asking me about it in the first place. Maybe, maybe they thought it was, but no, it's not. I'm, I look like whoever did this did it a long time ago before, you know, yeah, before I even started getting smart with this stuff. But okay, so anyway, yeah, I started sending her the. Okay, so anyway. When I look it up on the application, that's all I can find. So, I'll try to do like I did last time. And I'm now I'm going to go to the... Uh, so, it does still exist, but it looks like someone is no longer, you know... It looks like the original owner may not any longer be in control of it. It looks like somebody did hack it. And it you know, just like I told the Longmans, it looks like somebody probably did it. It was not me. It's weird, though. I don't know if it did it even belong to them in the first place. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to... Um, now, okay, now I just went to that Facebook page on the browser. I'm... Huh. Now it's doing the same thing on the browser that it did in the app. See, before I was able to see it. See, now I can't even see it. Huh. Okay, yeah, so I guess now it's... Now I can't see. Before I was still able to see it on the browser. You know what? It might be different. Sometimes there's a glitch between the iPhone and the iPad. If I try it on the browser on the iPad, it might work. I bet it might work if I because I think that's what I was doing last time. But I'm actually recording from the iPad right now, so I might try looking at that again. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Not really. I mean, I was able to see it before the bottom line that's where i, I took cut those screenshots from that i that i sent the longmans okay, okay. but i mean yeah I could, there were some other messages like um oh yeah where was the one where she told me about johnny mcdonald let me find that one real quick too i'm scrolling back to the private messages between me and elizabeth again i just want to find that one did i show that on i might have shown that on my on my video as well. Well, let's see. What month is this in here? August. Okay, I think she told me about that in July, was it? When did she tell me about Johnny McDonald? Okay, was it before? No, I think it was after that. That thing with that Facebook page. Nope. It was before that. 
I, I see some of the screenshots now that I sent her from that page. Now, when she sent me the link. When she sent me the link, I started going through it. And then, I, yeah, I can see the screenshot of, um, here it is, right here. Okay, there is only one John McDonald. I said, um, what did I write? I looked up somebody by that name who supposedly does live in Broad Broadway, as he claimed, which could indicate didn't cover backstopping, which is why I didn't think it was Harnett County at first. Well, I also asked, told her that I didn't, I think it was his real name. Where's that message at? Let me scroll back in here. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, John McDonald was the alias he used. Just wondering if anyone knows if he's a deputy. Because she, uh, she started telling me, well, she had been listening to the recordings, and then she said, no, that's Johnny McDonald. And, and she, he's actually a real guy that lives in Lillington. Maybe she gave that to me just be because I asked her. Well, I didn't really ask her for all that for all this though. I mean, I, oh, is that his address? Okay, I, okay, yeah, that's the one with his address on. I didn't mean to show that. Um, what I wanted to show was where she sent me the, the link. Yeah, because she told. I mean, I looked because when, when he called me that night, when he, while I had him on the phone, I looked him up and to see if there was a Johnny McDonald that was. In the, I did find one in Broadway, but. Oh, are they still out there on the roof? Yeah. Where was that Facebook link she sent me? She sent me the link to his... She did send me the link to his Facebook... Maybe it was before that message. Let me scroll back up. I think... Yeah, maybe it was before that even. I think he... I know it was like right after I, I told her, no, that's an alias name. I don't even know who he is. And then she replied to me with, with the, the link to his Facebook page, if I remember correctly. So I'm trying to find that. Um, did she send that to me or not? Well, I know she did. That's where I got it from, was her. So I'm just trying to find, was, was maybe that came, maybe, like I was saying before, maybe she sent that one from her other private account. I'll go through that real quick. Okay. Let let me document. Let, let me go ahead and document that, because yeah, I think it might have been further back. Let me let me scroll back, or it might have been on a different private message on her on her personal private message. This this one here is is a dual one between between her and Alan Hook. So some of the stuff was sent from different. Accounts here. I'm just okay. There's when we were talking to. Okay, that's when she told me about. Oh yeah, Cameron Jameson. You know who Cameron Jameson is? Sarah. Okay. Ah, uh, Sarah Christine Pitkin. And th there was more. There was more than that. I, I don't want to go through it all, but Cameron Jameson. It was actually Sarah Christine Pitkin. She told me about that. And um. What I want to find is that Johnny McDonald thing. <sighs> Where was it? She sent me his Facebook profile. I'm trying to find it. She might have sent it to me from her other... I mean, let me let's look through here a little bit. That might have been a different, that might have been different, that might have been on her personal messenger. Now, now I'm up to a half hour. Okay, there's the address when she sent me. He sent, said John McDonald and Harnett.
where was the the one where she sent me the Facebook profile? I'll scroll down a little more. And then if I don't see it, okay. Yeah, she had already sent it to me. Okay, so she must have sent that to me. Let me go let me go to her other account. Oh, I'm not surprised. Not surprised. I won't talk about it on the video. Elizabeth, I think, blocked me. I think Elizabeth just blocked me. Well, I figure her out too because she knew she did have knowledge of those three, of those four, of all four. That's why. And okay, I, I mentioned it to her earlier. I think that's why she blocked. I didn't say anything mean. I just like, I told her it was okay. I understand what I understand. You know, if if Wayne Coates, you know, I understand Wayne Coates probably promised her something that. Yeah, good. So, you know, make, make, probably for the best that I do document this because that's kind of what I was, yeah. I, I I think Elizabeth was working with those, with the female, with the other females, with the other three three females a little bit. Actually, she was because she was always w working with them on Facebook and stuff. And she was giving me similar kind of information, kind of in similar ways like they were, except the information Elizabeth gave me was actually, most of it was actually help was actually helpful to the platform. That's why I never really suspected Elizabeth would have been a part of it. But, and I, I don't think she was an actual part of it. I think um, maybe Wayne Coates probably, when, Ange when Angela Scarborough got the Longmans in his office that day, okay, I think what happened was Wayne Coates probably promised them, if you help me get John Gill or something, I don't know, I'm just speculating, but if you help me get him, I will, you know, help your son or something. Something, I'm sure it is probably, I don't know if I have that exactly pegged right, but I am sure it is um, definitely something to that effect. Here's some of the other stuff she was sending me. Okay, yeah, like here, like here. Like she sent me like these messages here. I remember like when she, when Angela was chewing this lady out, I think this was... Hear me turn that up? Yes, he is. I'm a fucking mental health counselor, dude. You know what I'm saying? He is not a victim. Wow. They didn't He's have a to shoot him. He is a victim. He is a victim of Cheryl Cole. Yeah, she's really no. somebody yeah, I'd want to go see. He's a fucking piece of shit that believes in Cheryl Yeah, I believe it in her, in North Carolina. Yeah, I, I, they, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. So, I'm just trying to go back through here and find... When she, the time when she sent me that Facebook profile for John McDonald. Okay, I'm getting, I should be getting close, but I'm, been, I'm back to August now. Okay, it was before this. Because I know she sent it to me. I remember she did. Because I, I had no idea who that guy was until she told me. It makes me wonder, why did she tell me? Is it kind of the same reason why... The other two were sending me text messages that night, wanting me to call that guy named um, Michael Fleming. Is that have any, Is that anything like that? Remember that? I wonder what the hell is going on here. There's more going on here than what I know. Still, you know what I'm saying? That's why. Damn it! I gotta do one more audio diary because I I don't have it all figured out 100. percent I I might have made it seem like that on that main video, but there's still. Or no, I no, I didn't. I didn't really. There is, there is still plenty I don't know. But I, I definitely have, as, as a whole, yes, I do have it figured out, and I'm confident about that. So, yeah, what I, everything on that video is still, all, everything I said in that video is still, is still good, is exactly right. But, again, there's just, all I'm saying is there are details here that, There's details here that I am not privy to, is, is basically what I'm saying. The family said this deputy banged in there. Here's another message I got right here. Probably a good idea for me to document this stuff because there's been some stuff they have also been doing to try to get in my head through social media as well, especially ever since I created this platform, even before that even. I, what's this? What was this the recording she sent me? I forgot. Oh, that turned out to be nothing. My name is Shayla Galvin. About 9.30 this morning, my security cameras went off and a deputy was coming up to my porch. Looked like he had his gun out. You can see on the video. Banging and kicking at the front door. He scares about. We didn't want to answer the door. 
Okay, okay I don't remember what this was. I mean, I'm sorry if I see through, I mean, what, what people are doing, but I mean, I do. I mean, tough. I mean, <sighs> Ira Hall, I think I'm, all right, where, February, okay, it was definitely after, it wasn't that far back. Damn, when did she send me that link? I know she did, did she unsend it, maybe, did she go back in and unsend well I already found the part the one where she sent me his his address I, I already showed that one and I, I again remind me to go back and watch and we'll skim through that video again that two hour long video let me fast forward through it and find the part I'm pretty sure I did show Angela's messages as well just to verify that they did come from her I think I did I'll go back and double check that. That was one thing I covered. But this, the, as soon as I find this, I'm going to go ahead and cut this recording. Because I'm already at damn 36 minutes. She didn't post it on my Facebook group, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I remember it was in a, a private message when she sent it to me. But we have all these different little private chats set up. I want, you know, And it makes it hard to track some of them. Why do they, is that why they're setting up the private chats for a reason? I remember it started in, in 2020 in a private chat. That's how this, you know, my contact with the other three females, well, the well, two females occurred was in 2020. I remember Dolly Griggs was in that same chat room, and so was some, um, who was it? Who else was it? Um, what's the other lady's name? Melissa's something or was it Melissa Stewart or something like that no not Stewart Melissa something who was it yeah Melanie Stewart yeah that one Melanie Stewart was in that same chat and she was in there with and so was um Tony and Dolly Griggs as well or no Gr Dolly Griggs was and then and then so was Sarah Christine Pitkin and Shandali Hargrove and so was Elizabeth Longman in that same chat. I wonder if that was, that was, maybe that was not a coincidence either. I don't know. Weird. I'm, I don't know. I could be paranoid about that part of it. Aaron Meredith. What, what, oh. Oh, man. And I'm not saying Elizabeth, Elizabeth Longman is working for the sheriff's office. I'm not saying that at all, but I do think it is, it is possible that Sheriff Coates might have promised her help if um, she helped, you know, those, those, what, those two females. But then I remember she did send me that link for John McDonald too. I'm trying to find, go back and find when she sent it to me because she was the one who told me who he was to begin with. Oh, is this it? No, that's ho the Holly Consulting thing. It was before that. You know, there's some unsent messages in here too, so... Because I do truly believe Elizabeth Longman, she is definitely against, she is definitely dead against Wayne Coates. Okay, I know that, but, you know, I think Wayne Coates might have her, it's possible he might have her in a, put her, you know, she might be in a situation because she, she's trying hard to protect her son, which I can completely understand. I've been in that situation before out there. Well, not the same situation, but something similar. Okay, there's a... Like right here, Elizabeth unsent the message. Was it that one? Was that where it was? She unsent another message. 
Or was that... I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find it. She did send it to me. I know for a fact she did. Here's another one she unsent around the same time. She's unsent a few messages too. Did she delete that or something? I noticed Shingali Hardgrove when she replied to me on Jesse Jones' page, trying to get my attention. Those comments have conveniently been deleted. But I took screenshots. I just, I, I just gotta find that. I, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I gotta find that, that message she sent me. She... She sent me his profile. She did. She did. She did. She did. I remember. It's got to be here. It's got to be in here. Uh, okay, I think it was before this, wasn't it? Was it before this? Okay, there's one where I sent her back the screenshot from confirmed. You, okay, yeah, I confirmed it, that. Okay, she, I sent her back the screenshots from his Facebook page of Deputy West. I see that. That I, I sent that back to her saying, okay, I looks like he's definitely affiliated with the sheriff's office because that is isn't that Deputy David West? And then he posted a little message on there saying, if you want to chat, you know, text me here. So I said, okay, I'll bite. And I, I, so I sent him a text and I said, are you Deputy David West? Uh, do you know John McDonald? Because, you know, this is the guy that called me like a year ago and was like on the phone for three hours, even talking about explosives and stuff. So I was just kind of curious after she sent, you know, after Elizabeth told me who she was, who he was. And then he replied back with, do you want to buy some pot? And... It looked like, um, yeah, un undercover deputies. And then I started, and then I started piecing the whole thing together. Okay, she sent me the link back before this. Okay, she was giving me the tip, asking his dog's name. Like, what the hell? Are, what are you talking about? Okay, I, I, I have definitely better ways to. Okay, here it is, right there. She said. He didn't have anything. Okay. Johnny McDonald is the Facebook name. Did maybe she... Okay, maybe she told me that and then I looked it up. Let me go look a little further. I think that might have... Been, maybe that's what happened. Yeah, she... Yeah, she, you know, also searched... You know, I might be jumping... I mean, maybe Elizabeth is, is fully legit. I don't know, but... It just is weird because she was connected with those, with those four as well. Well, those three. The three females, but... And uh, it seemed like um, when I figured it out, Alan Longman didn't seem to like that. When I figured out the, you know, that, see, okay, I, okay, there, that's when she told me, that's when she told me who he was. And then down here, she said the Facebook name is Johnny McDonald. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I think, yeah, that's what happened. I think maybe... She, um, yeah, she told me that the fa Johnny McDonald's the Facebook name, and then I and then I probably looked it up, okay, and then I looked it up because I was, you know, this guy called me and, and you know, I have the, you know, the calls recorded, okay, and, you know, here I'll play. Should I play one real quick? Um, here briefly. Here I'll briefly. I've played it in my other videos, but here briefly. Um, listen to this real quick. Well, actually, go to my main channel here. It's on there. Right here. To, to um, Angela Dutton or Angela Scarborough from... Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. I'm a felon, but I can still have a gun. No, this is ob obviously a suggestive hint There's she's no trying to throw out. Yeah. You're, You're definitely on the cover. I'm not wrong. You know, I'm not wrong. He's talking about Susan Matthews. Like he's said, trying to get me spun up on her. And he's trying to act like, impose as like he's some kind of a hitman. Do you see what these idiots are trying to do? They're trying to set me up. They're trying to say, look, he hired this guy to do something bad to somebody. Okay, I don't want to even say it out loud. Because that's what they were, but the, you know, I think everybody gets what I mean. What they were trying. To, okay, I'm not even going to say out loud what they were trying to imply. Or what they were, or the situation, or the narrative that they were trying to create. You see how they try to create these narratives, and I see Je I noticed Jesse Jones even doing this at time to do that as well. But um, see how they try to create their own little narrative, you know? And then it should yeah, it was a setup attempt. It was an entrapment attempt. I was right, exactly right. It just took me a while to put it all together because I have Aspergs. I mean, I think I think a lot of people would have probably would have seen through that a lot sooner. I think doing what I'm doing. I mean, well, actually, some of the some of the stuff was believable, but and actually, yeah, some of the stuff was pretty believable. I mean, the not, but not really. It wasn't that good. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I've, um, I have a background that 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 um, where that that where I gained some knowledge in, as far as how to figure stuff like that out. Okay, um, but. And also, the uh, you know Asperger's is part of why I see through some of the other stuff too. But I think, but, but anyway, um, yeah, I, I saw through it. And well, obviously, you you can listen to that recording of Johnny McDonald. Should I play it again one more time? I know this recording's getting long, but here, real, real quick, listen to what this idiot is saying. See, you know, this, you know, he, I'm not a violent fella. There's a way for me to be able to carry a gun. You don't want to help? Enjoy your tenure here because I'm going to go against the plywood. All my age sheets. I'm going to start breaking the plywood. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I'm going to nail it all over my front property so everybody on the major road to Raleigh will see it. I'm going to describe what a cut you are and how you serve only the elite select few. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know. Same thing with a man, you know. I was obviously when his mother I had to document this, but this guy is disgusting, you know. That John McDonald idiot. Yeah. Yeah, this guy. All right, all right. You, you heard enough. Okay, this guy's disgusting. You know, and he's definitely, okay, you know, and that's the one where I went in, and I, when, when she told me, okay, so I remember now, maybe she didn't send me his Facebook profile link, but she did tell me who he was. She told me the Facebook name is Johnny McDonald, so I think I looked it up, is what it was, and then sure enough, because, you know, after, the, you know, I, yeah, I mean, I didn't even, I, well, she told me who he was in the first place, as I've already shown, you know, on you know, she said, you know, I, I, I first, I, you know, just like I show, I show you, let me show that again real quick. Um, I said, I thought it was an alias. Here it is. Let me find it. Yeah, here it is. Again, John McDonald was the alias used. Just wondering if anyone knows if it's a deputy. 
She, I, I didn't think he, you know, it was even his real name. But she, she had been listening to the recordings and told me, no, that's a real person. And she said, and then, um, yeah, she, she, had, she told me, no, that actually is a real person. And there, there was more in here, too, where she thought it was funny when I, when I told her, when I told her that I thought it, it, it was an alias. Where's the one where, um, where, okay, there it is, right there. He didn't have anything on it for her when he called me. He called, he spent like three weeks trying to call me, yeah. Johnny McDonald is the Facebook name. Okay, yeah. So then I, then I looked it up after that. Okay, found it. Okay, so, okay. So, yeah, that's documented. So, yeah, but I, I had no idea who he was until she told me. She had been listening to the recordings. I remember she she actually thought it was funny, the fact that I, I thought it was an alias name. I remember that. Well, she, um, she that might have been, I, yeah, but then there was some, uh, there was a lot of other stuff, too. Hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of other um, messages as well for, you know, from Dolly Hardgrove as well and, and Sarah Christine Pitkin going back to 2020. You know, I could spend a whole nother hour covering that. But uh, I mean, I, I got so many of those screenshots. I, I, I don't I, I actually I mean, I, it took me two hours to do that other, other video video the other day just to show that information. So and I still did and I still didn't even cover all of it. You know, I some of these new audio diaries, I actually, like I remembered that thing about Sarah Christine Pitkin having that audio recording of Susan Matthews from 2020 during the election where she's standing on the side of the road and you can barely hear her, yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I forgot to even talk about that in that two hour long video. Yeah, but I, that's why I made a few additional audio diaries about it. But Yeah, I just wanted to do this one, this additional audio diary, just to to document those screenshots. So that's it. Thanks.